guys and welcome back to my booktube channel, the Bronson Sky Library. I thought it would be a fun idea to do the unpopular book opinions tag. I've seen Murphy Napier do it every single year and I've seen someone else recently do it as well and so I thought it'd be fun to do it as well. There's different prompts to this book tag or just this video tag. Anyway, there's different prompts and I have written them all down and I'm going to answer each in every single one of them and I guess let's just go right on into the video. I don't know how unpopular these are gonna be because I honestly I had a hard time with some of them to answer them because I guess I just don't read as many popular books as everyone else does and so I had a hard time coming up with answers to these prompts so there you have it. But, so again, I don't know how unpopular these are gonna be, but we'll just, let's just bear with us. Bear with me, I guess. Alright, so the first prompt is a popular book or series that you don't like. And for me, that would be Red Rising by Pierce Brown. I don't know how popular this particular series actually is. I just know I've seen people who have liked this series and I know my brother absolutely loves this series and so I tried giving it a read or I guess I tried giving it a listen to. It was one of my very first audiobooks I had ever really listened to and I didn't quite like it when I first read it. Uh, I think it might be because I just had a hard time with the audiobook. I had a hard time focusing and so I just didn't really connect to the book. I didn't I didn't like how it was Ender's Game and Hunger Games combined. I didn't like the Ender's Game book and I love Hunger Games, but it just was too much like Hunger Games from what I remember and I just didn't quite like it. But I do want to try it again. I mentioned in another video recently that I want to try with this series again and maybe I will and hopefully I like it. I'll like it that time. But yeah, for that prompt, it would be this one. I don't know, again, I don't know how popular this series is, but this is the book. Alright, and then prompt two is a book or series that everyone else seems to hate but you love. This one was tricky for me, but then I figured it out. There is a certain book in a series that is loved but this particular book is hated within the series, or not hated, but disliked by a lot of people, and that would be Cytonic by Brandon Sanderson. I love this book, and everyone else seems to not like it that much. And I understand, I get why people don't like this book, but I love it. I loved the adventures that uh, Spencer was going on, I loved the the characters that we got in this one, and I loved the reveals. Yeah, it's kind of, it's very sci-fantasy in this particular book, but I loved it. I thought it was so much fun. And yes, I did miss the characters from the first book, from the Skyward book, but I still, I still really enjoyed the new cast of characters in this one, and I, I just really, I really enjoyed Chet. He was great. Chet? Right? Is his name Chet? Yes. And I really, really loved Chet. And I just, I don't know, I just really liked this book. I think it was really well done, and I know a lot of people will disagree, but... That's why this is an unpopular book opinions tag, so... And then prompt three is a love triangle where the main character ended up with the person you did not want them to end up with. Or a one true pairing that you don't like. So I'm gonna go with the first one, which is a love triangle where the main character ended up with someone you did not want them to end up with. And spoilers for the Stormlight Archive series. You can skip to this timestamp here if you do not want any Stormlight Archive spoilers. So, skip to here. And spoiler time. Shalon and Adolin. I don't particularly like their romance. It's not my favorite, 
I remember reading the very first book in Stormlight, so The Way of Kings, and I remember reading Kaladin's character, and then I read Shallan's character, and I immediately said to myself, those two are gonna be together. Those two should be together. And then he didn't put them together. There was a sort of love triangle, not really, it was more, the love triangle was more in Shallan's head than anything else, but there was kind of a love triangle between Shallan, Kaladin, and Adolin, and she ended up choosing Adolin, which was dumb, because I feel, I, I felt as if Sanderson was setting it up to be Kaladin and Shallan, especially with a scene in Words of Radiance with Kaladin and Shallan in the chasm together. There was that storm going on. I thought, I thought that was him setting up for Kaladin and Shallan to be together, but no. <laughs> There's something that Sanderson has been doing a lot. It's a trope that he uses a lot, and it's the arranged marriage trope. He does it in Elantris, and it works out. That arranged marriage works out. He does it in Warbreaker, and that arranged marriage works out. He does it in Stormlight, and what do you know? <laughs> the arranged marriage works out. And I don't particularly like this trope that he uses. I understand that this particular trope actually happened in his real life almost. I mean, his he was set up he, on a blind date with his now wife, I'm pretty sure. And I understand that that's what happened with him, but can he just stop using that trope? Please. I just, I just felt like Shallan and Kaladin should be together. So, that's my hot take. <laughs> Alright, and then prompt four is popular book genre that you hardly reach for. So I wrote down nonfiction because I hardly reach for that. It's really hard for me to like nonfiction books. Really, really hard for me to like them. I've mostly self-help books. Self-help books, I hate them. They repeat themselves over and over and over again, and I don't really like them, so I try to stay clear from, from those. But I also put down mystery and historical fiction, and the reason why I put down mystery and historical fiction is not because I don't like those genres, but because I just don't reach for them even though I'm pretty sure I would love those genres. I love a little bit of mystery sprinkled in my fantasy and my science fiction novels and other kinds of novels. I just, I love mystery. I love to try and solve them, even though I'm really bad at solving mysteries. But I don't know why I don't pick up the mystery genre, because I know I'm gonna like it. I know I will. And then historical fiction, I remember really, really liking that when I was younger, but I still don't pick it up now. I love historical fiction TV shows, and so that's why I feel like I would love historical fiction novels, because of my likeness for TV shows and my likeness for historical fictions when I was younger. I just don't pick them up, and I don't know why. I really don't know why. I need any suggestions. If anybody has uh, mystery books or historical fiction books that you think I would love, please comment them down below because I would love to read them. Also, maybe horror. I don't pick up horror a lot. I don't know why. I just don't reach for them. I reach for mostly epic fantasy and I need to branch out again. I need to start branching out because I love, I love other kinds of, of books other than just fantasy. I don't know why I don't reach for these genres. Anyway, so that's that's that. Alright, and then prompt five is a popular or beloved character you do not like. And that, for me, would be Adolin from the Stormlight Archive. I don't know how unpopular that is, but among the Stormlight fans, I know it's very unpopular. It's a very unpopular opinion to dislike Adolin, because it seems that everybody loves Adolin. I do not. <laughs> I never really cared for him in the first book. I didn't care for him in the second book, except for a scene, a certain scene, if you know what I mean. 
But yeah, other than that, I just didn't really care. <laughs> I, I don't really care for Anon. The only... I will say this, I have started to like him a little bit more from reading Rhythm of War. I loved his scenes with Maya, and I I want to... Ex I'm really excited to see where that goes. I think that's really cool. I loved, loved those scenes with Maya and him. But other than that, I just, I never really connected with Adolin. I think he's a boring character. I connected, the reason why I like him a little bit more now is because I connected with him in Rhythm of War. I started to really like his character then, but... I want, I want more of Adolin. I want to be able to connect more to Adolin in this next book, and hopefully I'll end up liking him. But for right now, he's, he's kind of middle ground. He's just very, he's just there. I just don't care for him. I think, I think there's more to his character that I want to see, but as, um, yeah. Anyway, Adolin. That's my answer to that. And then prompt six is popular author you can't seem to get into. I put down Robin Hobb for this, but honestly, I don't really know if there's an author that I just can't seem to get into, a popular author that I just can't seem to get into. Anyway, so yeah, I just put down Robin Hobb because she seems very popular. I've only read one of her books, and... I just, it was just kind of middle of the road for me, that, that book. It was, it was very hard for me to get into Assassin's Apprentice, and yeah, and then maybe Joe Abercrombie, I've read The Blade Itself, but I haven't been able to read past that. The reason why I'm putting those two authors, even though I've only just read one of their books and nothing more, is because I can't find the willpower to read past what I've read and so I, I want to read past the first book that I've read of theirs but I just don't have that willpower yet so that's why I'm putting Robin Hobb and Joe Abercrombie right now other than that I don't think there's a popular author I don't think there's a popular author that I just can't get into so those are the authors for that one so yeah okay Moving on to prompt seven. Prompt seven is popular book trope you're tired of seeing. I guess love triangle. I, I don't know. Definitely love triangles. I think, I just think they're overused. And I haven't really seen any book that has made that trope good. So, yeah, I'll just go with love triangles. But that's not really an unpopular opinion, so, because I think everybody, I think everybody wants that trope gone. And then prompt eight is popular series you have no interest in reading. That would be Akatar, so A Court of Thorns and Roses. A Court of Thorns and Roses. That's the series that I'm just not interested in reading. I don't really care to. I know it's spicy, I know it's well-loved, and I just, it's not... It's not a series that I really want to try and get into, or any of Sarah J. Mass's stuff, or any of Cassandra Clare's stuff. Those two authors, I just don't, I've never really been interested in either of them, and yeah, so, sorry. And I'm not saying that Akatar is bad, and people shouldn't read that series, it's just, I don't want to end up I, it just doesn't seem like it would be for me, and so I don't want to end up hate reading it, if you know what I mean. So I, I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to do that. <laughs> and then prompt nine is, the saying goes, the book is always better than the movie, but what movie or TV show adaptation do you prefer more than the book? Harry Potter. That's just how it is. I don't have nostalgia for the books, but I do have nostalgia for the movies, and so therefore, I'm just gonna love, I just gotta love the movies more than the books. I, I'm gonna, I'm still reading the books, I'm still trying to like them, but it's just, I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna love Harry Potter, the, the movies. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love the Harry Potter movies more than the books anytime. So, yeah. Alright, so those are my 
unpopular opinions. I don't know how unpopular they are, but if you have different unpopular opinions, if you have different opinions than me, please comment them down below if you uh, want to discuss some things. Or if you have some of the same opinions as I do, please feel free to discuss. Click the like button, the thumbs up button if you want, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Alright, bye! <laughs>